Hello, it's a wonderful Friday morning. It's wet in Accra, though. I don't know um, how the weather is like wherever you find yourself outside the capital, but we know that, well, uh, beyond all the darkness that we tend to experience because of the intermittent power cuts, well, we'll have no complaints at all. The weather was good to us. Could you? You're in black. It means that you're, you're, you're mourning somebody. Uh, no. Oh, great. It's, it just happens to be a color I quite like. Today I thought, you know what? Yeah. Why not go black? Although, uh, I've got to say, it's making me look kind of dark this morning. Yeah. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm Excellent. Good. I, I love the weather uh, since um, mm. the dawn. Uh, we've, been, we've been having some great times. They, we, we, it was we, quite windy before the start of, of the rain. So. Yeah. We uh, have a love-hate relationship with the weather here in Ghana. You know, when it rains, uh, we're happy because it cools down the weather and farmers are, you know, getting water. But at the same time, it causes damage, damage which should not be caused by these levels of rain in a civilized country. But uh, right now, as we're speaking in Kumasi, in certain areas like Afon Kwanta Stadium, Asokwa, roofs have been blown off buildings uh, just because of the rain. Of course, we're thinking of you who have lost property uh, at this time. We'll talk a bit more about it later, but uh, we, 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 we feel for you and we certainly wish that this was not the case. Oh, definitely. Let's uh, get you into the groove and uh, run by you what we have for this morning. Of course, we'll, we'll tell you which of the best routes uh, into the capital is good uh, because we know that uh, for those who will be plying the motorway, there have been some of the tree stumps uh, that you may find on your way while you're trying to ply the, the main highway we have in the capital. But, uh, well, in other parts of the capital, we're told in Kanishi that there been some receding waters following some few minutes of flooding. And uh, we'll also try and look at what the best uh, weather is for you for the rest of the day. But look, we'll have Benedict also coming in with the latest sports headlines. And we'll look at the front and back pages of the various newspapers we have in the studio. Yes, indeed. Now, I'll tell you what, yesterday, Roland, I went, uh, I went back to the ports. Because, of course, the vice president announced that there should be a 50% reduction in the benchmark values uh, for goods coming through uh, Ghana's ports. And a 30% discount um, on the, the um, uh, value of vehicles coming through these same ports. So I went there to see if that is indeed happening. had an interesting conversation with the, sec uh, the uh, sector commander for Tema Collections of the Custom Division. Uh, I also spoke to um, uh, a clearing agent who had just cleared a vehicle yesterday and benefited from the discount. So we'll bring you the, those conversations from the ports uh, later this morning. Mm. And uh, we all know that that is going to impact on people's pockets and also relatedly with the economy. And talking about the economy, there was um, a town hall meeting also organized by the NDC with uh, the guest of honor being former president John Dramani Mahama. He was uh, mainly addressed by Isaac Adungo, the member of parliament for Borgo Central, and a number of personalities of the NDC. We'll bring you some highlights, and as we also have some discussions on the subject, Al, um, Al Hassan Suhini, member of parliament for Tamale North, who would also be in the studio.